know, and I, and I just think we need to go learn from Africa. Sarah Terry's film, Bumble Talk, is my favorite film here. Oh, Bumble Talk. Because it's about forgiveness. How do we get back to where we were before the conflict? One really imagine whether these people will even reconcile again. Sierra Leone had one of the most brutal civil wars in Africa from 1991 to 2002. This is not a country that had a history of war. What they inherited was a structure of corruption, um, of an inequitable distribution of resources. It's a diamond rich, it's the second largest diamond producing um, country in the world. Fumble Talk is um, Creo. It means family talk. That's the literal translation and it is as John Cocker says, it's as old as Sierra Leone itself. And it's, it's a method for resolving conflict that, that, that has always existed, uh, that, that involves people coming together to talk through what happened. I think that's what's so staggering about Fumble Talk, is it really does fly in the face of most of the conflict programs that the international community has backed in the world. So it's, you know, I think it, in the long term, it's gonna change a lot of things as a model of like, it works like this. So I was going through a process of forgiving during the entire time I was making the film. And I think what I learned so deeply from this, because I, I believe that we are inherently good, I believe there's an inherent goodness in man, not inherent evil, which is a popular concept, especially theologically. I believe we have inherent goodness, but I believe we have to defend our goodness. And that's the, that was my learning moment there, because people in Sierra Leone, are, they have, they believe in each other's goodness, but this war came and for them it was like, it, they kind of talk about it like, it was so crazy. It was like, why I ever did those things? Or I would never have done that if it wasn't for war. I think both perpetrator and victim are heroes. And they're, I think they're modeling, you know, Heroism. It's why I want. We want to share this film. To have the courage to forgive, which we all get. You know, wow, that is courageous. But oh my gosh, the courage to step forward and say you're sorry, and and to have to live up then to be to being good. That's huge. Let's go through this healing process once and for all, and support each other. It's not enough to be forgiven. It's not enough. You have to step up and take advantage of being forgiven and claim your own goodness again and act on it, which is what so many people in the film do. And that's to me what's so remarkable. They're given the opportunity to be human again because that's how the world changes. One act of forgiveness at a time, one instance of taking responsibility for what you've done wrong. You may not be able to forgive like the people of Sierra Leone are forgiving, those kinds of atrocities, but you can start somewhere and you can start with a person who cuts you off in traffic. You know, hello, which is road rage in Los Angeles. We've had people killing each other on the roads for that. You know, you can forgive the family member you haven't spoken to in 20 years. You know, it's like, it's literally like saying, you can start somewhere because when you start, you know, then change starts. We love this family talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
cut. Cut.